Wildcats. Wildcats. Today is Thursday, May 19th, and here are your video announcements. Hey seniors, want to say goodbye to any old elementary school teachers? Van Meter, Blossom Hill, Daves, and Lexington will be holding a Goodbye to Seniors Day next Wednesday at 3.15 p.m. If you didn't buy a yearbook, a limited number of them will be available for sale in the ASB office tomorrow. This is your last chance to buy a yearbook, so you really don't want to miss this opportunity. This year's Senior Promise Fairy Tale theme is coming up this Saturday at the Tech Museum from 7 to 11 p.m. Dinner will be available at the event and the exhibits will be open. Every attendee must provide a negative COVID test to be admitted into the event. Check the parents' who are email for more information. We're super excited for this event and hope it's worth the four years of hard work our seniors have dedicated to LGHS. And now for a message from our ASB president. Hey Wildcats, we know finals are fast approaching and we just want to remind you that we believe in you. I know finals can be super daunting, but at the end, you're going to remember the hard work that you gave and not your score. Remember to take care of yourself, get some good sleep, eat, drink, and take some extra time just to go on a walk, maybe get outside, and you're almost at the finish line. So go Wildcats and happy almost summer. Track and field team have CCS finals this Saturday. The LGHS baseball and softball teams are playing their first round of CCS next week. The girls lacrosse team plays in the CCS final on Saturday against this opponent. Good luck girls. And now for a new segment, World News. Thirteen-year-old Elliot Tanner graduated from the University of Minnesota last week, making him the second youngest college graduate ever. Tanner described this experience as truly surreal. This month is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, which is a celebration that recognizes the historical and cultural contributions of individuals and groups of Asian and Pacific Islander descent to the United States. Alaska's family has recently had a small family of skunks move under their front porch. Although cute, the skunks, skunks lived under the porch for a few months and only left the home last week. Today is National Devil's Food Cake Day, meaning that you have a great excuse to go enjoy a delicious dessert. The lunch special today is on screen. And now for the joke of the day. What does a tick and an Eiffel Tower have in common? I don't know, Dimitro. What? They're both parasites. <laughs> <laughs> have, have a, a great, great day, day Wildcats. Wildcats.